Welcome to this Bromden Technology Feature Spotlight for redundancy configurations. From Tessera version 2.2 onwards, you're able to take advantage of redundancy configurations for your processor and panel network. These include redundancy options for both processor and processor to panel failover, which will ensure that the impact of any faults or errors does not affect playback of important content. There are two types of redundancy that you can take advantage of. The first is closed loop redundancy. This allows you to have backup connections between your panels and processor in case any single connection experiences a fault. This is available for our Tessera SX40, S8, S4 and M2 processors. The second is processor redundancy. This allows you to have a backup processor in case your primary experiences a fault. This is available only for our Tessera SX40 processor. First, we will look at closed loop redundancy. Closed loop redundancy works by creating a connection loop from the processor to the panels and back to the processor. This enables the panels to receive their signal from either end of the connection loop. Should the primary connection of the loop, in this case connection 1, experience either a fault or communication error, the processor will immediately switch to sending the signal through connection 2. This typically takes a single frame, making it imperceptible to the human eye. The redundancy loops can only be created between adjacent ports on your processors. So for our Tessera S4, S8 and M2 processors, that is between ports 1 and 2, 3 and 4, and so on. As you can see, the Tessera S8 with its 8 ports can run up to 4 closed redundancy loops. Similarly, for the SX40 processor, the loop is created between the adjacent trunk ports, so trunk A to trunk B and trunk C to trunk D. For the Tessera SX40, closed loop redundancy also works for individual ports on the Tessera XD distribution units. If communication errors were to occur on one or more strings of the primary XD units, the secondary XD units would immediately take over where needed. Processor redundancy is only available for Tessera SX40 processors and enables a secondary SX40 processor to be connected as a failover option in case the primary experiences any type of fault. The setup involves connecting each SX40 processor to the same X1 and X2 ports on the Tessera XD distribution units. Once all is connected, Either processor can be set to be the primary from within the Tessera software interface. The criteria for an automatic failover can be specified within the Tessera software. These include whether a failure has been detected with the primary processor outputting video, as well as whether it has lost its video source. A time for failover can be specified for each criteria, meaning the processor will wait that time before initiating the failover. A manual failover can be performed from within the Tessera software interface using the failover button or simply by pressing the two front panel buttons on the SX40 at the same time, provided this option has been enabled within the software. When a failover is initiated, the secondary processor will take over as primary and automatically reassociate all the panels. Should the fault be remedied, it is also possible to allow the system to fail over back to using the original primary processor. Only using processor redundancy, however, does not protect against potential failures of any XD unit strings. To avoid this, the SX40 processor can run both processor and closed loop redundancies at the same time. This involves simply creating the redundancy loops between the XD distribution units of trunks A and B and C and D while ensuring that the two SX40 processors used for redundancy are connected to the same X1 and X2 ports on the respective Tessera XD distribution units. Our processor redundancy configurations offer reliable and automatic protection against possible failures during critical operation. Combining both processor and closed loop redundancy offers the most protection against video source, connection and processor errors. We recommend this setup when it is paramount that video delivery is not disrupted.
If you're interested in finding out how you can get the most out of your LED panels using our technology, we recommend watching our Brompton HDR and Dynamic Calibration Feature Spotlights next. Thank you for watching.